Hey guys, thanks for checking out my new video. As a hobbyist developer, my main vice is getting excited about new projects. And of course, while I've been working away on my MMO, the Good Idea Fairy came up with a demand for a four-player co-op virtual reality tower defense RPG. Sounds fun. So hey, let's get a VR interaction kit and make it multiplayer with Fishnet. But of course, if you're going to make an interaction system multiplayer, why not pick one that's heavily physics-based? Let's go with AutoHand. Okay, so we have a system that relies heavily on physics for its interaction, that offers you high fidelity interaction and maximum enjoyment. Yeah! But how do we network this to ensure that everyone has the same, if not similar, experience in a match? With VR, one of the main necessities is to get my virtual movements as responsive as possible, but these need to be translated across the internet. My old MLAPI brain tells me that nested network transforms weren't available, so I would have to record every vector 3 for the head and hands and send it across to update the clients manually. This took me several hours of testing and I couldn't really get it right until I found out that Fishnet does actually allow for nested network transforms. So with them set on the right objects, I was good to go within 5 minutes. But now the next hurdle in the setup. The player object has to represent the head and hand positions. But putting on the XR rig means that my one input will control all of the rigs in my scene that other players are using. Not to mention all the extra scripts to handle various inputs. So let's ghost our objects and create a second avatar. We can switch it off when we're the owner, and switch our XR rig off when we aren't. Now we have our representation hands and heads, translating across our network. Yay! But each of our clients are still processing their own world physics, and our ghost clients only have limited colliders on them. This creates a disparity in our system when we try to translate objects that we don't control, as our local rig has a lot more collision power than our ghosts. One option we can do is to change the ownership of our world items to the client when they're grabbed which means they dictate the transforms which can then be translated across the network to everyone else. This would mean that we have to turn off parenting objects to transforms because the parents only exist on the client. But with everyone else still running their own physics simulations, this still resulted in wonky objects. Turning rigid bodies kinematic for everyone but the owning client helped make objects stay smooth when moving, but when switching back to the server ownership, they lose all velocity and thus throwing breaks down. The ownership system also interfered with several other features of the interaction system such as stabbing, and a separate set of scripts needed to be made to help translate certain interaction states across all clients. In the end, the locomotion effects, including climbing, were all working wonderfully, but object interaction had a few too many issues that just wouldn't be resolved to satisfaction. So attempt one is considered a loss, though several good lessons were learned about multiplayer for VR. In the next video, I'll look at a different approach which utilizes server authoritative physics calculations. Thanks for watching.